In this video tutorial, we are going to show you how to make this beautiful water pump animation in Microsoft PowerPoint. So if you want to be an expert, watch the video till the end. Let's begin the topic. This is a new Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Go to home, go to new slide, insert a blank slide. Let me zoom out, go to view, click on guides. Go to insert, go to shape, pick a oval shape, hold down the shift key and drag it over here like this. Go to shape outline, make it no outline, go to shape fill, change this fill color again press ctrl d to make it duplicate change the fill color hold down the shift key and make it smaller and place it here again press ctrl d to make it duplicate change the fill color hold down the shift key and make it more smaller like this now again press ctrl d to make it duplicate change the fill color Hold down the shift key and make it more smaller. Let me zoom out and place it here like this. Now select all shapes. Go to shape format. Go to align, align center, align middle. This is perfect. And select all the color and go to shape fill and make it this fill color. Then go to shape effect. Go to bevel. Click on select the round bevel and go to shape fill go to gradient fill and change the gradient color from here select this one go to shape outline make it the black outline select this one go to shape fill make it the white fill color and select this one go to shape fill make it the black fill color this is looking perfect you may change some gradient fill from shape fill gradient fill you may change from here something let me select this one this is perfect let me zoom out now go to insert go to shape pick a rounded corner rectangle shape drag it over here rotate it go to shape outline make it no outline make it this kind and press ctrl d to make it duplicate place it here rotate it place it like this make it smaller and this type now select this shape and this shape go to shape format go to mark shape click on union click on right button and send it to back and place it like this go to shape fill go to eyedropper select this color go to shape effect go to bevel select the round bevel now go to insert go to shape pick a rectangle shape drag it over here shape outline no outline shape fill this fill color make it smaller and place it here select this one go to shape fill you can change the gradient fill color from here very easily go to insert go to shape pick a rectangle shape drag it over here shape outline no outline shape fill this fill color send it to back again press ctrl d to make it duplicate make it bigger place it like this select both of this go to shape format go to shape effect go to bevel select the relaxed inset and place it like this now select this one press ctrl d to make it duplicate place it here and change the fill color again press ctrl d to make it duplicate and place it here now i have to make the water flow go to insert go to shapes pick the circle hollow shape hold down the shift key and drag it over here holding this button and make it more sharper place it like this go to shape outline no outline shape fill and select this fill color now let me place it here go to insert go to shape pick a rectangle shape hold down the shift key and drag it over here go to shape outline no outline press ctrl d to make it duplicate place it here again press ctrl d to duplicate make it smaller and place it like this press ctrl d to duplicate make it smaller press ctrl d to duplicate smaller press ctrl d to duplicate and place it here now select all of this press ctrl g to group go to 
shape format shape fill white fill color and place it here hold down the shift key and make it smaller and place it like this press ctrl d to make it duplicate and place it here and i am doing the same task Now select all of these shapes, press Ctrl G to group them together and my circle is ready. And place it here like this. Now select this one, go to add animation, click on spin. Change the duration to 6 seconds. Click on right button and send it to back. Go to insert, go to shape, pick a rectangle shape, drag it over here like this. Go to shape fill make it white fill color actually the background color click on right button and send it to back select the shape shape outline no outline now the select the circle click on right button and send it to back now let me watch the slideshow i have to adjust this let me watch the slideshow this is looking good go to insert go to shape pick the freeform shape and drag it like this go to shape outline no outline shape fill this fill color click on right button and send it to back again click on right button bring to forward again go to bring to forward this is perfect and place it like this now i have to add some water drops now go to insert go to shape pick a oval shape hold down the shift key and drag it over here shape outline no outline press ctrl d to duplicate again press ctrl d to duplicate make it bigger place it like this Ctrl D to duplicate, make it bigger, place it like this, this one. Now select all of the shapes, go to shape format, go to shape fill, click on go to eyedropper and select this fill color and press ctrl G to group them together and place it here, rotate it and place it like this. Click on right button and send it to back. Click on right button and go to bring to forward. Now go to animation, go to add animation, click on theater and change the duration to 3 seconds on click with previous. Then go to here, go to animation, click on spin and change the duration, change it with previous. Now go to animation pen, select this one, this one and this one, click on right button, go to effect option timing repeat until end of the slide click on ok now let me watch the slideshow this is looking perfect so hope you found this video helpful if you like this video please share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe thank you